49 years ago this month, something big happened in Erie. It was April 1966. That's when WJET-TV signed on for the first time. Jet 24, nearly 50 years old, and our golden anniversary celebration is about to begin. Here's Jet 24 News Director Lou Baxter to tell you about it. There's been a lot of construction work going on along... We have details in this report from Action News 24's Matthew Rock. We missed a big snow front that moved in last night. Good evening. The coldest temperatures of the season so far. 49 years ago, there were only two TV stations in Erie. Unlike today, with hundreds of channels to choose from, there weren't many options for local TV viewers back then. In 1966, that changed forever when legendary Erie radio pioneer Myron Jones flipped the switch, putting WJET TV, the region's new ABC affiliate, on the air. Jones was the owner of the highly popular Jet Radio, and he was ready to take Erie Broadcasting to the next level. While Jet 24 was not Erie's first TV station, since 1966, the station has grown to become Erie's news leader, thanks in part to many familiar faces from years gone by. So as Jet 24 approaches 50 years of broadcasting history, there's a lot to remember. That's why every week for the next Next 50 weeks, we'll bring you 50 years of local and jet TV history year by year, week by week, from 1966 to 2016, as we celebrate our golden anniversary. It all begins next Tuesday, April 21st. Lou Baxter, Jet 24 Action News. And 50 years of Jet TV over 50 years airs, 50 weeks airs every Tuesday at 6 p.m. here on Jet 24. You don't want to miss this year-long series of special reports. In 1976, Jet 24 celebrated its 10th anniversary on the air. 40 years later, we revisit that broadcast and a young lady who was a special guest that night. Yeah, this, this is pretty cool when you see uh, when you see the old stuff too. Here's Lou Baxter with this week's edition of 50 Years in 50 Weeks. This is John Evans reporting exclusively from Action News 24. 1980s, we saw the spirit of courage and endurance. Clear skies and 21 degrees in area right now. In 1976, Jet 24 anchorman Bob Sutherland, known as Sunsy, weatherman Cliff Morrison, and reporter Dick Clancher were all part of a special broadcast looking back on Jet's first decade on the air. With that introduction, I think it's only right that we leave our news for a moment, have a little cake-cutting ceremony with our guest of honor, Ann Margaret Deeds. She's 10 years old today, and so are we. back to the year 1992 tonight as we celebrate Jet 24's 50th anniversary. And do you remember that year when one of our own, younger versions of our own, yeah. <laughs> appeared on national television? Well, this day she has a huge audience in the nation's second largest city. Here's Lou Baxter to bring us up to date. A cloudy day in uh, Beijing. And Cleveland defense back Will Hill. This past decade was one of change in the field of health. As the political battles of the Cold War. Do you remember this face? It's 12-year-old Maria Sansone, Erie's own bringing your sports down to size. These days, Maria is a superstar on Good Day LA on the Fox affiliate in Los Angeles. Maria was discovered by Jet 24's Mike Gallagher during a slam dunk contest at the Civic Center. The best way that I can describe what was happening back then when we were doing down to size is that 
we went viral before viral even existed. We were doing this little thing on a, a small station in a small town, and all of a sudden it captured the attention of the entire nation. Maria's first interview ever for Jet 24 was Buffalo Bills quarterback Jim Kelly. Others included Michael Jordan, Bill Cower, and baseball legend Tommy Lasorda. I was 11 years old, so it was a living, working newsroom with TV shows happening and newscasts going on. But for me, Jet was a playground. Sansone quickly got picked up by ABC Sports to do live sideline reporting for the Little League World Series, which earned her the title the youngest reporter in the history of network TV. I have nothing but fond memories of working at Jet, and if I hadn't, my whole career would be different. I obviously wouldn't be here on the set of Good Day LA, so I have Jet TV and the people of Erie to thank for that. Celebrating 50 years in 50 weeks, Lou Baxter, Jet 24 Action News. And she looks the same. Like, I, she looks stunning, but it's so amazing how uh, she just looks the same and has the pr presence at such a young age. And we've definitely watched her grow. I mean, uh, you know, Mike was able to identify that talent at he such did. a young age, and there she is in L.A. As we celebrate Jet 24's 50th anniversary, we take a look back at 1999 and the career of another familiar face. Here's Lou Baxter with this week's 50 Years in 50 Weeks. You see him every night on Jet 24. Sean Lafferty's career at Action News began in 1988, covering big events like Governor Tom Ridge's inauguration and the flagship Niagara Sea Trial. In 1999, Sean was promoted to the main anchor chair. He replaced Don Shriver to co-anchor the evening news with Kelly Gone. I felt ready for it, um, but I'd be lying. If, if I said I wasn't nervous, uh, I, I was following up a, a legend, and I really uh, did not know uh, how the audience would take to that. Well, the audience didn't seem to mind. While his partners on the desk may have changed through the years, Sean has anchored Jet 24's position as your news leader in northwestern Pennsylvania. He's only the third guy in 50 years to anchor the evening news on WJET TV. The thing I love most about the job is the thing that I've always loved most about it, and, and that is that it's something different every day, um, but also uh, that people ha have entrusted us to tell their stories and to get it right. Like Sean learned from those who went before him, he's always willing to lend a hand to young journalists as they start their TV career. Celebrating 50 years in 50 weeks, Lou Baxter, Jet 24 Action News.